Public education officials are working with law enforcement authorities who are investigating reports of a high school student being found in possession of a pistol at a Castries area secondary school. The shocking incident comes against the backdrop of a recent spike in gun violence on the island. Communities in Denry, Viewfort and within the urban city limits of Castries have been rocked by a spate of shootings which has resulted in serious injuries and deaths. Most of the victims are young males. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer told the News Force that the Education Ministry is cooperating with agencies involved in responding to the incident. Well, for us, we continue to work with the relevant authorities as to the investigation into what happened with that, with that item that was brought in. I can speak to the fact that we have met with the staff. Our health and safety officer has been on the ground. The use of our counselors in terms of support for our staff members has been put in place. Similarly, our student body, all efforts have been made and will continue to be made to support them. Um, as we move forward, we want to reiterate the fact that there is zero tolerance for any form of violence at schools. And so we, we continue to work with our children. We continue to ensure that we put in the necessary security measures as well. But we know that these incidents are unavoidable sometimes. But for us, it's really, really important to work with our stakeholders at every instant to protect the health and safety of staff and, and our wider population, and more specifically our students. Sources tell News Force that the magazine of the pistol found on the student, who is reportedly a troubled youth, was apparently empty. Well, for me, I have spoken about, you know, weapons in general. Uh, as a society, sometimes we give our little boys particular weapons as a toy. And then when it becomes a situation whereby they grow a little older, it becomes a bigger situation for us. So it is really, really important as parents that we're always cognizant of the impact of our behavior as a, as a society, what values we want to instill in our children. And when certain situations come up, we always with the view of supporting, really supporting and investigating the matter to make sure everybody is okay in the end. Our role is always to ensure the well-being of all of our stakeholders. The incident has also raised a myriad of questions surrounding school security, especially in the wake of the growing impact of complex social issues and societal dysfunction. While the chief education officer says institutional steps have been taken to shore up security, the support of parents and the community at large is vital. Looking in and, and with the support of the police, looking at you know school bags and, and scanning, that always continues to happen. That has not been something that has stopped at schools, but it is really a general responsibility, that of the students first and foremost. Our teachers on the ground continue to support that, but parents in a big way need to ensure that whatever their children are bringing in, I'm always advocating, advocated rather, you know, as a parent, that you, you would look at your child's bag, you would engage your child in conversation as to what issues are impacting he, um, him or her. So when there are issues, we as parents can also do our part. I want to also speak publicly to the fact that there is a day of prayer coming up on Monday, please God. And it's really another opportunity for us to, to put our needs down as a, as a nation. And uh, I would ask to lift our children up in particular, lift our children up in prayer, lift our nation in prayer as we continue to forge ahead. Yes, with security measures, increase CTV cameras and surveillance, you know, caretakers slash watchmen slash security guards. But we need our parents as well to play a big part as well as support by the administrators who are constantly on the ground. Local law enforcement officials have long stated that illegal firearms are entering the island through legitimate ports of entry. Despite the crackdown with an increase in raids and seizures, illicit guns including AR-15 assault-style weapons continue to pour into the country, putting more lives at risk. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.